Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Today I want to share with you a free plugin for Lightroom Classic that I think will be very useful for those of you that often use presets. How many times were you in this situation? You have an image and you're going through your presets and you're looking at one and you go, oh, I kind of like what it's doing, but it's like way too strong. Well, unfortunately, Lightroom doesn't have a fader control or an opacity control that will allow you to dial down that preset. Well, that's what this plugin does. It's called the fader. And in the description below this video, I'll have a link to their website. And as I mentioned, it's free, it's shareware. Now, I'm going to show you how to use it. Once you install the fader into Lightroom, what you do is you go up to File, and then down to Plugin Extras, and then down here it's called the fader. And when you do that, this dialog box will appear. The presets are listed inside of this dialog box, and this is where you will apply that same preset, that high C drama preset. Go to the folder that it's in. It's in my user presets folder. And then go to the actual preset itself. It's called high C drama and apply it. Now, one bug I noticed in the fader on my iMac, it doesn't do this on my MacBook. You notice it didn't apply the preset. To get it to apply the preset, all I need to do is open and close that drop down again, and you could see it applied it at 100% opacity. If you've ever had a preset that you applied and it wasn't strong enough, you could actually use the fader to turn it up even higher. So you could actually move this above 100%, but I, in this case here, obviously, I want to move it down. So I'm going to move it down, let's say, to 59. Now, again, that bug on my iMac, all I got to do is open this and close it. So that looks pretty good right there. That's dialing down that preset. So I could click OK when I'm done. Now, I mentioned this is shareware. You could download it and use it for free. It has a little bit of a limitation, though. There is a feature that you could unlock, a couple features, if you pay them $10. Now, I, again, have no affiliation with the people who make the fader or sell the fader. I don't even know who they are. I won't make any money on it if you uh, give them the $10 to open up this additional feature that I'm going to show you. I'm going to hit reset. And to get to the options for the fader, what you need to do is go to File, Plugin Manager. And it's down at the bottom. It's called the fader. And then over here on the right, you could see all the info. Now, I paid the $10 to register it. So I could enable keyword tagging. And if you just hover over it, it will tell you that it allows the fader to tag each edited photo with LR underscore the fader keyword. Enable preset cache. Preload preset names to make the fader open faster. So it says, you know, little things that you could do. These first two will be, I believe, enabled in the shareware for free version and you won't be able to turn them off if you pay the ten dollars you could turn them off if you want um, stay in easy fade to normal mode that will be when you apply it it's at zero instead of at a hundred and you could move the slider up so that's really not a big deal this is the thing that i think might be um, useful for many people and why you may want to register it and pay the ten dollars show toggle for each selection. So I'm going to turn that on and we'll click done. So again, um, make sure, did I reset this? Yes, I did. So again, we'll go up to file, down to plugin extras, down to the fader. And again, we're going to stay in user presets, but you can see we have these uh, check boxes here. So what I could do is go to my preset for high C drama. And you could see that I could turn off some of the effects here. We'll get it to apply. So if I don't want it to apply the basic effects, you could see I could turn that off on whatever I need to do. In this case here, again, I think most likely I want those all on. But that is something I wanted to show you because you may want to uh, you know, give the guy the 10 bucks so you could unlock that feature and use it. So that's the fader. Uh, again, in the description below this video, I'll have a link to their website and you could check it out. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.